map Rhode Island, right? So a lot of us see that in this. All right, so just understand that. Eminent domain concerns, set all that fine. But when we see in Rule 7A4, it must be consistent with local comprehensive plans and state guide plans. That confirms that this is part of a larger event agenda. So why should farmers believe you're doing this in their interest when we know there's a federal and statewide agenda that you're looking to advance here? So I'd like to ask you that question. I want to talk more about Karen's point about economics, but I'll save that for later. The second concern we expressed was re unelected bureaucrats, even outside our state, managing local affairs. We've done a little research, and I would hope you explain the relationship if this DEM Land Acquisition Committee is the same land trust council that reports to a third-party New England nonprofit called Third Sector New England that receives federal funding. Are you at all part of that no. strain? Because the, the names are very similar, right? You can see the confusion. Please address the roadmap question. Then I'd like to come back and ask him some economic questions later. Thank you. Very so. I want to be clear that roadmap was not at all on our mind as we developed this program. Um, the connection that was made uh, when, the, when, the, when this first proposed was one that uh, certainly was not on DM's intention or uh, view finder. But we are required to uh, send our proposed regulations around within state government. Um, various agencies of state government prior to putting them out for um, public comment. The ask of us to include that particular language came as part of that process. Um, we are certainly understanding of the concerns. Um, we are uh, sensitive to and desirous of changing that language, and we are going to propose a change at the third workshop, but we've taken those comments to heart. We understand that there was absolutely no intention of a connection to roadmap uh, as we went through this process. We appreciate the fact that you raised that as a sensitive issue, and we will be prepared to address that and modify some language at the next meeting. Yes, ma'am. I would just like to say that uh, Rob, roadmap actually specifically specifically quotes. It says, adopt revised state legislation for the transfer of development rights, TDR, to facilitate strategic, increased economic activity and housing development. Use Rhode Island DEM draft legislation as a starting point. That came from Roadmap itself. This, this book that they want us to read, <laughs> that, we, that they know when they put this roadmap together, I'm not saying you did it, uh, but when roadmap was put together, this was made a very lengthy document knowing that the average citizen like you and I are not going to sit and read this. As you read through this, you're not going to know this stuff. I've been halfway through it and, and I know my questions are, uh, I have the questions that I have because of what's in this. And this isn't the only thing. There's also a uh, land uh, plan, what is the name of that again? Land use 2025. Yeah. Uh, which is a book about like this. So I would definitely suggest that you get your hands on this if you can and get a good look at it and actually dissect it and see what it says so you know what you're getting into. Thank you. Right. So the reason that we are going through this process of receiving public feedback is to uh, be aware of the sensitive points. And I just want to say again that this is a sensitive point. Thank you for revealing it to us. We appreciate that, to be honest. Um, and we will address that. And I think that when it comes down to the third workshop, you'll find that we have taken your comments to heart. Thank you. 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 Thank